we're talking about. Yeah. Fog him up here. So the initial um, five six miles underwhelmed, right? I'm kind of like, uh yeah, it's lower than the hypermotard. It's not powerful. You know, I'm like, damn, why did I sell my hypermotard? Uh, and then I was like, man, there's two things going on here. Either Ducati duped us with the marketing campaign and they paid off all the journalists because everybody's been writing stellar reviews on this thing. So I'm like, alright, the journalists are either co-opted and on Ducati's payroll or even they got duped by the marketing campaign. Or I got to settle in on this bike and give it a chance. So I decided, you know what? give it a chance let's, let's ride you know it, it was a beautiful sunny day here and you know I went on the highway you know, a couple miles got off hit some twisties did not find any dirt tracks fire, fire trails anything to get on go around the city and I think about 15 minutes into it I started you know I, I saw a smile on my face big smile and I stopped thinking right I stopped thinking about the reviews I stopped thinking about the cheesy ass marketing campaign that Ducati has on this thing. It's, I really hate it. It really bothers me. And I just started, uh, I stopped thinking, I just started riding. And, you know, and I said, oh, I'm feeling happy, man. I, I'm smiling. I'm, I'm laughing. I'm giddy. You know, and um, I came back after the test ride, right? 30 something miles on it. I went and had some coffee and said, you know, let me let me think about it. And there was a brand new Monster 821 there. I said, you know, let's let's check that bad boy out. Go ahead, ladies. I said, let's check out that, that 821. So Sills guy, well he wasn't annoyed, but he's kinda like, alright man, I thought you wanted the scrambler. Okay, I'll get you an 821. Got an 821. And I rode that that bad boy. Um and it was just brutal power, man. It, you, you can't you can't compare them, all right? Uh, yeah, I'm on one of the forums, so if you guys read my quote, I'm gonna stick to this. I'm gonna make this because this is my quote, right? It, it, it's uh, it's what I said. You know, if we're talking in terms of like tunes, right? Dance tunes, music tunes. The Hyper Motard 796. If that's dancing to the tune of heavy metal. And the 821 monster is dancing to the tune of some, some serious electronic house, right? Straight out of Europe. Alright? I mean, it's just going. Alright? And if that's the case, the 796 is dancing, or the, the scrambler, excuse me, the scrambler is dancing to the tune of reggae, man. <laughs> Alright? It is a chill bike. And. If you let that sit in for a while, it's awesome. Uh, you know, it's dancing to the reggae, man. It's just chilling. It's it's fun. It's not pretentious. It's flickable. It's just cool, man. And um, so anyway, so I got off the Monster 21. I was like, man, brutal power. It's it's awesome. Uh, a little bit of price difference, but not too much. Like like two thousand dollars, right? Something like that. Um, so this is soul searching as well. You know, I got a I got a muscle cruiser that I really love, uh, a Victory Vegas eight ball. I, I mean, I really love that bike. Um, so I got the torque and the power there. Am I going for top end speed? Am I doing track days? Nah, nah, not really, not at all. Not not even not really, not at all. I'm not doing. It. Do I race? No, I don't race either. Do, do I give a shit about speed necessarily? Top end speed? No, I don't. Um, so, Monster 2 on a scramble, got back on a scramble, rode it for a little bit, got back to the Monster 2 on rode it for a little bit, and I decided, I'm going to get the scrambler. I think if I would have got the Monster 2 on, I would have been equally as happy, uh, but I decided I wanted the scrambler. Um, the first year it's out, I guess for the Monster 2 one it's the first year it's out too, so that doesn't really count, but yeah, first, I just, something about it appealed to me. The only downside, oh, well, there's some downsides, but the main downside to me is that cheesy marketing campaign. I mean, that's one of the reasons why it really kind of turned me off this whole bike. Uh, you know, you know, the whole flannel shirt wearing, 
you know, beard, skinny jeans. You know, that, that's cool, man. You want to be a hipster? Uh, I'm not. I'm not that guy, man. And, and the fact is, marketed for that guy. And, you know. And there was some hipsters there looking at the pit, so that kind of added insult to injury. But um, so I got it, and uh, and and this is my first ride actually outside the test ride. So I bought it, actually, it's the second ride. Rode it home, uh, called my friends, went on the one of the forums that I'm on. Let, let some people know my initial thoughts and then I was like, you know what, why am I behind a computer? What is wrong with me? Oh, one reason is I was eating. So I finished my dinner, slammed the computer shut, and I said, I'm going to go for a ride. And it is cold uh, with the wind here in Monterey. Uh, I guess not by East Coast standards, but it's cold by, by West Coast standards. It's windy in the 50s. Um, And this is a real ride, this is my first real ride, guys, that I'm doing on it, and my first vlog, and I hope to God the, the audio is recording, man. If it's not, I'll probably do a redo vlog. Um, just total side note, total tangent. You know, I like making motorcycle videos. I like showing the area I ride in. Um, I, I like showing the bike I ride in, giving some initial thoughts. I, I don't really consider myself a vlogger. I've done a couple of vlogs, but as far as what I enjoy doing, I, I enjoy riding a motorcycle more than talking and riding a motorcycle. Um, so this, I'll do a couple of vlogs just because it's a new bike, and yeah, I'm, I, I'm the first owner here. And, in Northern California, um, and there are definitely some, well here in, Mo in Monterey County, the first owner, and there's probably some guys in the Bay Area that either picked theirs up yesterday or today as well. So if those guys are vlogging, they'll be out there putting up some videos, and good on them for doing that. Uh, let's take a pause for a second and enjoy this beautiful view. Oh, and there's a wedding! I don't even know where the horn is. There's a horn. Oh, it's prom. Or oh, homecoming. So, anyhow. Um, some initial impressions. Uh, the windows suck. They are pure shit. Alright? Well, at this point, if you're going to make it this bad, why even put them on? Give us a couple aftermarket options and, you know, we can pay for it as we get the bike. Alright? It's not going to go online. Spend some couple, you know, some time Googling instead of riding. And, and then I gotta get uh, a new, uh, two new rears. The exhaust, yeah, underwhelming exhaust. Definitely needs to be remedied, and I will after the first service. I'll, I'll put at least, I'll put at least 600 miles on the bike, do the first service, and then, uh, and then get an exhaust and. Then, uh, and uh, fuel management system, you know, power, uh, yeah, fuel management system. Other than that, you know, I'll get some, some slide protectors on the bike, uh, some frame protectors, excuse me, some sliders. And I don't know, I haven't really been on the Ducati accessory site. You know, I might get a couple accessories just to make it a little bit personal, but I'm not really one for accessorizing. And another tangent, why am I not one for accessorizing? Because my first motorcycle I ever had, I spent about $3,000 on accessories by the time I was done with it, and performance upgrades. And when you sell it, it all goes to shit. So that's $3,000 down the damn drain. And once I, so that was the last time I did that. And uh, now I either buy them used with, with somebody given the right performance upgrades that I wanted. And if I buy a bike new, like I bought my Victory Vegas new, I don't accessorize. I keep it stock. I mean, you know, I'll, I'll put a couple things on for my own comfort, or it's not too expensive. Something I'm not gonna lose any sleep over. But yeah, I'll add, add it to the bike, but I don't, I don't go, I don't go all out because you just don't get your, you don't get that return, man. Unless you're gonna keep the bike. And I, so far, I've not been very loyal with my motorcycle. So the, the longest I've kept one is three years. Uh, just because something else comes out, right? And I don't have the money to have like 20 bikes, so I buy one, ride it, and something else comes up, and I'll check it out, and I like it, I'll buy that. 
All right, so initial impressions of the Ducati uh, Scrambler continued is put a smile on my face at least, and I think on most people's faces. As long as you go in there with the right expectations, right? It is a very fun bike, a very flickable bike. It, it does feel like I'm almost riding a mountain bike. Uh, that's what it feels like. It feels like I'm riding a mountain bike with a with a motor on it. Uh, so like, when I was a kid, right? So when I, my, when I was riding my mountain bike, I used to, I, I used to like fantasize. Man, it'd be so cool to just have a motor and just kind of run, run around or drive around and do little jumps and, and, and not have to pedal. So this bike gives me that feeling. Um, let me segue real quick into dimensions. I am five foot nine. Uh, yeah, five foot nine, five foot nine and a half without shoes, so shoes on. Uh, you know, five ten and a half, right? Now, actually, five foot nine flat footed, so I would say with shoes on, five ten and a half. Uh, and it feels perfect. I think if anybody's any any taller than that, I don't, I don't see how this bike can be comfortable. Your knees are going to be maybe an inch taller, maybe up to five eleven. Any, anybody over five eleven, I don't I don't I don't see how they're going to be comfortable on this motorcycle. I just don't see it. So I'm gonna pull this bad boy over right here. Yeah, look at that. tell you what I do miss already from the Hyper Motard is the hand guards or the wind guards right um, especially here in Northern California it's windy you know yeah it's not East Coast freezing but you know it's 50 degrees with the wind chill and my dumb ass wore these gloves which are not they're like motocross gloves so putting all my full leathers on so Mirrors are awful, guys. Just awful, awful mirrors. I've been trying to tweak them as I ride, as I park. I don't think I can even do. So. So yeah. So. Overall, man, I'm happy, but you guys got to manage your expectations. You're coming off the Super Sport, even if you're coming off a Ducati Monster 796 or a Hyper Motar 796, if you're looking for that, that power, that, 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 that initial surge, you're not going to get it. Coming off a Street Triple, you ain't going to find it as bad boy, all right? Coming off a BMW, uh, one of the little, the little Street Fighter one, the F800 or G800, I forgot what it's called. Yeah, you'd be all right going off that. All right, let's see what's up with my boy here. Yeah, he home. Yeah, he home. <laughs> <laughs>